building on my video on how to infuse oils, today I'm going to demonstrate how to make a lotion bar. The basic recipe for a lotion bar is about equal parts of oil, butter, and wax. So here you can see that I have the beautiful oil that I infused the other day. Here we have some cocoa butter and here we've got beeswax and in the back we have lavender essential oil, vitamin E oil and tomanu oil which is one of my favorites as many people have already figured out. So I'm going to add these ingredients uh, to the double boiler. Actually I'm going to wait on the essential oil and the vitamin E. Those will go in last. I'll get to that later. Uh, I don't want to uh, heat up the essential oil any more than possible. So in the next shot I'm going to be adding the oil, butter, and wax and I'll be back with you in a moment. All right so I'm going to begin by adding the cocoa butter. As you can see, the cocoa butter is beginning to melt. We're just going to let it keep doing its thing for a minute and it'll melt down just fine. Then I'm going to add the wax and then finally I will add the oil. very beautiful looking. That's going to take some time, but that's all right. We've got time. I will be back when it is a liquid. I don't know about you, but I love the smell of cocoa butter. So this, uh, this is pretty awesome for me right now, but some people don't like the smell of cocoa butter, in which case you can buy refined cocoa butter that doesn't have as much or any scent at all. And if you'd prefer not to use cocoa butter at all, there are certainly other options. Uh, shea butter, for example. Although shea has a particular smell about it itself, but even with shea butter, you can get refined shea butter that uh, is basically odor free. Okay, so that looks good enough for me to add some more. I guess it doesn't really matter. I could have added everything all at once to begin with, but I kind of wanted you to see this. So I'm going to add the beeswax now. This is going to take some time because beeswax is a lot harder than cocoa butter. All right, so the beeswax is looking good. We're just going to let that go so you can watch a little bit of it. I'm going to give it a little stir. But this is going to take a little while. It'll be worth it, trust me. It will be worth it. One of the nice things about lotion bars is that you can make them however you like. If you'd like to use different essential oils, feel free. If you'd like to infuse your oil with the different herbs feel free uh, I use coconut oil you can use olive oil or whatever you want uh, there's a lot of room to play around with these lotion bars and really make them special and they make really good gifts for the holidays all right so you can see the color has changed that's because I have added the tamanu oil and the plantain calendula and comfrey infused coconut oil in a moment I'm going to set up the molds that I'm going to use to make the lotion bars and I'm going to add some lavender essential oil and I'm going to add some vitamin E oil. I'll be back with you in just a moment. Okay so what I'm going to do now is pour into these molds. I've already put in the vitamin E oil. I've already put in the lavender essential oil. 
So I'm just going to pour into these. Now, as you can see, it's already starting to harden in here. So I'm going to put this back on the double boiler because I want to make sure to get as much of that as I can while the leftovers melt back down. Maybe I can get one more out of it. You can see a close up of what this looks like. pretty good stuff. Conveniently the same tins that I used to make my salve will fit these lotion bars. So it's a very useful size to have not only for salves but for lotion bars. You could figure out a whole bunch of other uses for them too. You can see this one is starting to harden a little bit around the edges. Well, looks like that one is the one oh, around the edges here. Okay, that one is starting to harden a little bit. And that's going to be a really lovely color for sure just like the salve it's uh, basically the same thing as the salve just different ratios plus the butter adding cocoa butter definitely changes uh, things but the herbs are basically the same yeah we could see that a lot of times when you make salves or the body butters you can see these these round sort of dots forming in there. That is totally normal. Happens most of the time. All right. Well, it's good to see them in the various stages, isn't it? I'm going to check up on uh, what's in the double boiler. See how much. Maybe I can get one more. That would be pretty cool. Which design should I go for? That one or that one? So some people might ask, uh, maybe especially men, I don't want to be sexist about it, but uh, this is probably more of a ladies thing. Uh, so what exactly would you use a lotion bar for? Well, guys, your hands, you're out there use, I know you axe junkies out there, your uh, hands get raw and uh, you need to soften them up a little bit maybe. Well, you could just use one of these lotion bars, just like a lotion, but it's hard in a bar form, and you put it on your hand and rub it in a little bit, and then uh, you keep it in one of these tins. You ladies, I don't make these with a particular smell in mind. Scent is not really my thing. I mean, I'd like things to smell good, but... Primarily what I'm after is the, uh, I don't quite want to say medicinal value, but the you know, benefits of the herbs and the oils and all of that more than a pretty smell. That's not really my point in all of this. So you can see those are the circles that I was telling you about. Very, very common for that to happen. Not surprised at all. Some of it will go away as it solidifies. Uh, some of it might not. That's okay. These still are going to be pretty, uh, well, pretty, pretty looking, I guess. So some people might also want to ask, well, why the vitamin E oil? Well, vitamin E is good for you. Uh, I know plenty of times I would buy a bottle of vitamin E uh, pills 
and they'd be gel caps with vitamin E oil inside of them for people to take as a vitamin. And I would poke a hole in the gel cap and squeeze out the vitamin E and put that uh, on, you know, a little wound or whatever, just to get some vitamin E on the skin. It's an antioxidant. It's a fairly common practice among many uh, creators uh, of these sort of products to add some vitamin E uh, as a preservative as well. It helps, uh, it helps the product to last a little longer. Now even though these are looking pretty good, they're solidifying, they are nowhere near being ready for me to take out of this mold. I'm going to wait a good hour or even more before taking them out. Let me check up on that extra that I got over here. All right, let's do it quickly. It's not going to be a whole bar, but that's all right. I'll get what I can. Happy to have it. But you can see just how quickly that wa the, uh, the wax makes it harden up. So once you get the oil out of the double boiler, you want to function, get it into the mold quickly because it starts cooling almost immediately. Okay, well, I think it's time. What I'm gonna do here is pull out that small guy right here. There we go. Isn't that pretty? Okay. And it fits right in the tin. That's the small one. So what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to use it. So I'm going to put it in my hand. I'm just going to go like that a little bit. Get some on there. And then I'm going to rub it in. And there you go. There's the lotion bar. Good stuff. Well, as always, remember that what you put on or in your body is your responsibility.